Hi everybody, welcome back to the home of Crybaby Performance. Today we have a pretty interesting topic. We are gonna talk about spark plugs. There's many type of spark plugs on the market. This is a brisk um, DR15ZC. That's what everybody seems to run. Um, it's a good choice, but we have some other choices here. This is the same brisk spark plug in the next hotter heat range. And then this they run in go-karting quite a bit, which is this Autolite AR3910X. Okay, as you can see, this spark plug, the Autolite one, has a much bigger head on it. It has the four prongs on it and this spark plug will fill up the combustion chamber a lot better and increase the compression ratio of the engine so this is a good choice the brisk is a good choice too now we're going to talk about in the rules it says any commercially available spark plug is permitted. So that means you can run any spark plug you want. And if you find one that's different or better than the ones that we have, you know, PM us and we'll take a look at it. But must remain stock as factory manufactured. Spark plug indexing washers are not permitted. Okay, so a spark plug indexing washer would mean a thin washer like this. They make them in all different sizes so that when you screw the spark plug in, you can get it to stop at your desired position, which would be anywhere from here to there. They don't permit that. So where the spark plug falls is not really the ideal position because the uh, strap is blocking the spark from the valves. But you can fix that in a different way. So if you take a factory washer, which is a double thickness washer, and you measure it, it's 85 thousandths of an inch. So if you want that to be a little bit thinner, you can take it over to your vise, whack it with a hammer, and it'll thin that washer up. How thin can you get it? I have one here on this spark plug. See, it still has the double metal fold on the spark plug. And it measures just under 40,000. So you can get it down to about half of what the stock spark plug is. Now, you can do that two different ways. You can hit it with a hammer a bunch of times. Or you can put it in an old junky cylinder head or whatever. And keep tightening and loosening, tightening and loosening, tightening and loosening until you get that washer to thin down. In the rules, it says nothing about this washer. It doesn't have a dimension. It just says start stock spark plug and washer. I've noticed this when I got engines from Steve Baker Racing Engines that the spark plugs were, the washer was always smashed down to be as thin as it could be. So if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for us. Now let's talk about exact same spark plugs out of the package like these two, neither of these spark plugs have been altered, but you can see that this area looks slightly different than this area. So neither one of these spark plugs could be DQ'd, but nothing would really stop you from taking a little bit more material off of this, of this edge. But it says you can't do it. It says you're supposed to run a stock spark plug. Now, if we screw these spark plugs into the hole. But haven't we found these spark plugs with all different shoulder lengths? 
Yeah, I find they're usually generally about three quarters of an inch, generally speaking, from the spark plug to the end. This one's a little bigger than three quarters, it's 900 thousandths. This one is a little deeper at 980. But if you start measuring these, they'll be all different lengths. Okay, but they gotta be relatively close because when the engine manufacturer makes the engine, they don't want that spark plug to hit the piston. Now let's say that you have a spark plug. This is a, a nothing spark plug. And even it's reading 960. So if you get, if you start screwing spark plugs into cylinder heads, okay, like we have this one, and we'll screw it into our cylinder head. And then we use our flat bar across that. You'll see it gets pretty close, but it's not touching that flat bar. And that spark plug will never touch this piston because the piston has a dish in the top of it where it rides. So this piston would have to go in this hole about 30 thousandths, which is never going to happen because it's at zero deck. And there's a gasket. And there's a gasket of eight thousandths and it has this little, little divot. But you'd love to get the, the spark plug as close to this divot as you could get it. So by pushing that spark plug as far in that hole as you can get it, you're taking up cylinder volume. head volume, which gives you higher compression, and you're also getting that spark as close to the valve, the intake valve as possible. And on top of the piston. So if you, if you don't believe what we're saying, you could always CC the head. So this plate right here, if you put it on, put a little grease around the, uh, around the head, get a piece of plexiglass, this is an old gauge face, drill a hole in it, Put it on your head, and then with a barrette tube, you fill it with a real thin liquid like alcohol or transmission fluid, and you fill up the the um, the head, and then it'll give you a CC reading of what it is. So you can drastically increase this by um, the different length spark plugs. Now we'll go into one more topic, which is jetting okay this is a standard jet for a honda carburetor okay it goes up through the center of the carburetor and it has a hole in the middle and we measure that hole with a pin gauge okay now if you take a spark plug like this one which is the next hotter spark plug this is going to have a hotter spark but this spark plug will re probably require more fuel to go through this jet. So we've always been in the heavy classes and with a stock spark plug, you can lean the engine out to like a 30, 31 jet and keep going lower until the engine falls off for speed. You're not gonna hurt the engine. It's just not gonna perform at its highest level. But with a hotter spark plug, it's gonna want more fuel. So you'd wanna go from a 31 up to maybe a 32 or 33 and see if your performance picks up. You have to find the sweet spot. We know the sweet spot of what it was for us. You'd have to PM us and tell us the class you're running and the weight and all that and we could help you with that. But here's a jet block that I made. <clears throat> 
that has the rules state that you have to run a factory Honda jet. These are all factory Honda jets. And then if you can't find a size, you can take a smaller one, um, like an 022, and you can make it into a 23, 24, 25, 26, until you find they sell a 27, and then they sell a 28. And then you can drill other ones bigger to fill in the blanks. Then you can go to the track and you can try the next smaller jet, the next smaller jet, and usually on gasoline, um, the spark plug is usually burning pretty black. So that would tell you that you could go down on the jet size to try and clear up that spark plug. Now, I know I'm throwing a lot of information at you. It's hard to slow it down because we'd be here an hour. But this is a regular old strap style spark plug. They call it a strap style because it has this. Um, strap on here. Usually these type of spark plugs will burn hotter and will actually increase the spark timing of the engine. That's why when you check spark timing you should never be checking it with this spark plug or this spark plug. You should be checking it with a strap style spark plug or they should call out a spark plug of what you should be using. So the next thing is, you just have to look for, buy a bunch of spark plugs, look for the deepest one you can find. You could um, see that there's different size washers on here. It's gotta be a double fold washer. Doesn't state how thick that washer is. And try and get that spark plug deeper in the hole. All right, that wraps up our spark plug video. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up from the home of Crybaby Performance, where we try and they cry.